All right. Today, we'll be installing Christmas lights to our bike. Tools you'll need: shitload of zip ties, socket wrench and socket for removing any seats or loosening tank bolts, pliers, a stick. And your hands. So to start the lights that I'm using are Philips battery operated. I got these at Target, seven bucks. They take four AA batteries. So I will start by placing the power source where we want it, which will be in the trunk area, and feeding the strand of lights down underneath the back of the fairing here. Now we get all the lights through. We can start by taking a, um, a little zip tie. It's, I don't need any of these big ones. It's a little one at. There it is. So we're taking our first zip tie, securing it to the little luggage rack here. Leave a little bit of slack and then feed it along the bike. And take a second zip tie And actually, I'm going to loop this to save on zip ties. Loop it up through the luggage rack, which is just a little bar that runs under the back bearing or tailpiece. There, so we got the lights. There. I'm going to run this piece up over here and secure it with the zip tie that I lost. There. Secure it to the frame. Make sure it's tight. Then tighten the zip tie pretty. I get it pretty firm. Okay. So there's those end pieces. And so my legs don't rub up against it. I'm going to go up underneath. They're back behind here. And then it'll eventually go up the side of the frame and then down the front of the frame. So I have taken the bolts off my tank so I can lift it up, which I will use the pliers for. Okay. I take another one of our limited zip ties and get this to our first position. Now since these are close to the engine you want to make sure that the zip tie 
it's pretty tight on there and that the strand is pulled. Good. Finagle the lights. A little bit. And work our way up to the top. There. There's two in the frame there. Then I'm going to go up and around these cords. And then down, then we'll do, hmm, don't want it to be on like kickstand, so we'll go around this thing. Now the end part, you don't want to have, you know, dangling. So I'd say loop it through the zip tie a few times so it's not all long. And then tighten it up. And that is basically what it looks like. Now I just gotta do the other side. Alright guys, when you're doing this, make sure to um, uh, know or check your state laws so you don't get any uh, tickets because of me. I got pulled over about a night ago and uh, it was for my blue neon light and it was just a warning. He told me that um, blue and red are reserved for officers for obvious reasons. And then I asked him about Christmas lights. I didn't get a a uh, direct answer. He just said be careful with it. So he didn't say it was illegal. He just said be careful with it. But you can leave have them on like the sides like runner lights you can't um you can't have them on the front and back because you can only have uh, red in the rear and white in the front and then your blinkers and these lights are just little LED lights just built on into the string or the cord So, if one burns out, I mean, you can't replace it or anything. And they run off four AA batteries, and the box says it lasts around 72 hours on the four. So, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Especially if you, you know, mostly have them on at night or whatever you do. Damn it! Get your own lights, little bastard. Make sure it's tight. All right. Remove your pliers. Don't pinch your fingers. Make sure your tank's seated. Reinstall the bolts. That tank's 
seated. Reinstall your bolts. Okay. Then take your pliers, slash dikes, slash scissors. Do some trimming. Clip all your zip ties, fairly short. I would leave a little nub just in case you have to tighten it a little bit more. You can clamp it with the pliers. Give it a little pull. Now you'll have the most festive bike wherever you live. Enjoy your festive bikes. Don't get any tickets because of me. Auf Wiedersehen.